Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand with the pride and burn for your desire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to week number four here in the Chaos Cup of the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. And tonight, I hope we have a good one because I'm playing tonight. I am playing the final undefeated team in Division A. Tonight, it's going to be the Dead Presidents versus Masters of Mammal. Ava Unit 2 versus El Numerino Undead versus those dirty, dirty dark elves. Let's take a look at the standings. In first place in Division 8 currently is Artificial Bunny's Skaven team, the Poker Ratmen, with a record of 3-0-1. The Masters of Mammal in second place with a undefeated record 3-0-0. They're looking to advance back into first place with a win tonight. Even a draw would put them in the first place. But I've got something to say about that. The Dead Presidents in fifth place, an undead team. I'm looking for my second win in this competition. Let's see if I can pull it off. Over in Division B, the Dinnerbell Darlings undefeated on that side of the competition. They have a record of 4-0-0. They are a dwarf team, followed closely behind by Donkey Teeth with their win this week. They advance into second place, a Wood Elf team with a record of 3-0-1. That's kind of catchy. Drops to third, while the Carnivores, coached by Nick Satan, are currently in fourth, a Kislev team. <laughs> First up, the Dead Presidents, my team, coming in at a TV of 11.30 for this game, a 12-man roster. We picked up two zombies from two other teams in the league. I thank you very much. <laughs> We've got two whites, two ghouls, two mummies, and the rest zombies. Uh, I don't take uh, skeletons. I don't take skelly men on my, on my undead rosters. Uh, some people do. You will not see a single skeleton on my roster whatsoever. Uh, Two whites, they are the blockers, or the blitzers, I should say. They have the block skill. Uh, two ghouls, they're the ball carriers. They have dodge. They're very fast with an MA of seven, uh, but a little fragile there with uh, the AV of seven as well. You can see one of them is leveled up and picked up guard. That, uh, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> two mummies. The mummies are fantastic pieces in the game of Blood Bowl. They have a strength of five. They have mighty blow. Harry Truman has leveled up and picked up the guard skill. That is fantastic as well. And oh my goodness, look at, look at Grover Cleveland. He has leveled up. He is now a strength four zombie. He has, he has no muscle tissue, but he has been working out. He is now strength four. Three TRRs, two fan factor, one necro. You don't get an apothecary with an undead team, but that's fine because not only does every, every player except for the ghouls have a uh, regen, but if we can kill a player, we might get ourselves a zombie tonight. This school here, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> this school here uh, picked up the guard skill. I would say the first skill pickup you want on a ghoul is typically blocked, but makes him a blodger, but I rolled doubles. <laughs> and I feel on a ghoul, if I roll doubles, I probably want to pick up guard. Uh, I just didn't want to waste the devils. So we'll see if he stays alive long enough to be able to leverage his guard. Uh, but we're looking for 10 SPP on James Madison tonight. We're going to be up against the Masters of Mammal coming in a TV of 1270. They're going to come in with a 12 player roster as well. It means 140,000 gold and petty cash will be going back to the dead presidents. There's 
Lots you can do with that gold. We'll see if the Masters of Mammal will sack a player to avoid that. Uh, I imagine they won't. I think they'll keep their 12-player their roster here. They have uh, four Blitzers. You can take four Blitzers on a Dark Elf team. They all have block. One's a Blodger, one has Mighty Blow, and one has an MA of eight. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Skeletor is injured. Uh, his AG is permanently down to three, which brings him from fantastic to merely average. I think he's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd keep him. <laughs> I don't know if I'd keep him. I'd probably sack Skeletor. Uh, we'll see if El Nuberino ends up sacking him before the game. That'll save him 100k in petty cash, reducing the payout in the inducement phase down to 40k. Uh, one runner, Orko, that's the one fragile player on this roster. They have an AB of 7. They also have the dump off skill. Dump off allows him to make a quick pass uh, if he's about to take a block. Two linemen have leveled up and picked up the block skill because, of course, they have an... All the other linemen are all level one. He has two rerolls, one apothecary, three fan factor. He's looking to get that third reroll as soon as he can afford it. Boy, oh boy, how do these two teams play? Well, <laughs> so this Dark Elf team is very interesting to me. So when I play Dark Elves, uh, I always take a Witch Elf. <laughs> I always take a Witch Elf. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure what the play style is. I mean, obviously it's been working out very well for El Nuberino. Clearly a fantastic coach. He's placed highly uh, competition after competition in the league. And so far he's uh, taken this Dark Elf team and he's undefeated so far. Uh, but man, uh, you know, he's got a lot of skilled blitzers and they're going to continue to skill up. Uh, he's looking to spread some SPAP around if he can. That's probably the only tricky thing on his roster here is to try to ensure that these linemen get some SPP. But he's got a lot of speed with Stratos. Uh, he's got the Blodger with Duncan. He's got Mighty Blow with He-Man. These are all fantastic pieces that are all specializing in different things um, that he can make great, great use of. He's so fast and he's so agile being an elf. Uh, he can entomb a, an offensive cage. Um, he can score very easily when he's on offense. Uh, he has a lot of options. Elves uh, are universally pretty good i would say maybe elven union's a little weirdo but uh you know dark elves wood elves high elves i think are all great and um there's really no difference here tonight i mean it's a great roster great coach uh lots of options on offense and defense the dead presidents however uh they're an undead team they they cage up that's what they do on offense um, they're going to have to cage up on offense. They don't really have a passing game to speak of. They're going to open up holes. They're going to try to do that with their whites and their mummies. They've got, well, I guess in Grover Cleveland, Cleveland at this point. Strength five mummies mean you're almost guaranteed a two die block. Uh, you'll be, you can be certain I'm going to be hunting for that three die block and Mighty Blow is going to make that very, very terrifying. The weakness with the mummies, of course, is that they have an MA of three. They don't move. It's very easy for them to get tied up by a cheap player and they get out of the drive. More importantly, if they do get knocked down, it spends all of their MA just to stand back up. If they're going to blitz, uh, a stand up blitz costs them a GFI. So a little tricky with the mummies. Pick up a guard on a mummy because those mummies are always going to be in the action uh, with a two die or uh, with a strength of five. It's very hard to get the blocks off on them. They're almost guaranteed to give that assist. And that's going to effectively increase the strength of anybody who's next to them. Maybe that's another mummy for a three die block. Maybe that's a, a, a zombie to make them afford a, a, a strength four zombie. Uh, I think guards uh, almost a, a given for a level two skill on a mummy. The ghouls are really the weak point here. They're very fragile. They're going to be targets. Uh, if they're taken off the pitch, the dead presidents are going to have to uh, have to change gears a bit on offense. Uh, you're really not going to see any tricks here tonight. You're going to see uh, uh, the dead presidents on offense. They're going to pull back into a cage, try to open up those holes, try to make uh, good use of their strength and, and plod down the pitch on defense. You'll see them spread out. They'll just try to avoid the blitz um, or prevent the blitz. And then they'll start swapping players around. You'll see a, a standard defense uh, with uh, the dead presidents. They'll start swapping players around using these various players to maximum efficiency. They'll use the speed of the ghouls to maybe get an assist. They'll use the whites to make the blitzes. They'll use these mummies to tie down important players. Uh, and that's really the name of the game. The elves are gonna score on offense. <laughs> and this undead team's gonna try to bash them up on defense. <laughs> we'll see if 
uh, the Masters of Mammal uh, dump any TV before this game. And uh, let me head on over to Discord. And we'll see if the coaches are ready. Uh, coaches don't necessarily have to be in Discord. El Nubrino is ready to go. And we'll get this game underway. Ready when you are. Oh, you set the empty. Oh, right. I'm not spending any money. I gotta save up for those witch elves. I've oh. had terrible. I've had terrible money <laughs> this season, so. I mean, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. What do you think? Taking, I mean, taking, I, I got to get a wizard, right? Okay for the wizard. I, I, I got to get a wizard. A bribe will be good, but come on. Come on. A first competition wizard? I have to. I have to be the first one to bring a wizard. Let's go. Even if I sacked a player, you could still buy a wizard. It's not like you have to buy replacement players. Everybody's been giving them to you, so. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you'd have gone for a third ghoul. Yeah, I mean, I had some options there. I thought maybe I'd pick up a bribe too, but you know what? I just, I just feel, I want to be the first to have a wizard. <laughs> hey. Oh no, is that snow? Oh, that was the boy. GFI one, right? <laughs> Snowy day here in the Prez Mausoleum. This is going to hurt the Masters of Mammal more than it's going to hurt the dead presidents. Look at this boo hiss. Everybody's, those Minotaurs back there, they want to frenzy all of these players. <laughs> That's right, SVP. <laughs> it's his, it's history. All right, we've lost the coin toss. Uh, we'll be on offense, so we're fine with this. We don't care if we're on offense or on defense to start. There we go. Currently a four man defensive line here for the Masters of Mammal, pulling everybody back off the line. He might just be getting his ducks in a row here. All right, fair enough. Looks like he's gonna go with an anchor formation here to start with. I think that's uh, totally fine. And now, uh, hmm. Well, the zombies are probably not going to get locked down. Or the zombies, the mummies are probably not going to get locked down here. So let's let's mum it up. Uh, you, I think I want you here. I'll put you here, and let's put you maybe here. And you can go here. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. In fact, I should I should learn to save <laughs> save my layouts, but whatever. Uh, you are gonna go here. And you'll go there, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I almost took a kick, out, but I figured I'd want to hear you say, "Ah, oh, you know." You should have taken a kicker, and then I would have had to respond with, "Kick is a little bit overrated." <laughs> Shallow kick here. Turn two for the dead presidents after the riot. Turn one, or before turn one, it's guaranteed loss of turn. It's going to be a seven turn. Uh, yeah, I wish it uh, maybe I'd taken the kicker though. It's a nice seven. Spot. Uh, 
seven turn uh, half. Boy, where do I, who do I want to go where? You'll probably come back. So let's take this block first. We're going to get the push here. We'll push Clawful here. And we'll follow up. There. Move him there. Uh, where are you gonna go? You'll probably go on the cage. So we'll do that. Blitz is probably coming on you. We'll see where these other blocks go. Um, I think we're gonna go. Here. Let's um let's take let's take this block. Okay, pal, you can go here and um yeah, let's follow up. And then you We'll take a two die. We'll take a two die for now. We'll get a push. We'll go here. Follow up. Two die blitz. We'll get a push. We can go here. Uh, let's put. And then we'll move here. We'll try to pick this ball up. Fail the pickup. Uh, we'll skip it. You kidding me with this? You better, you better go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Turn two wow. for the Masters of Mammal. So the Blizzard's gonna make GFIs harder. GFIs are twice as hard now. It's a they fail on a one or a two. It's also going to. Uh, disallow passes longer than a short pass. There are four distances of passes in the game of Blood Bowl. There's quick, short, long, and a long bomb. Quick and short passes are the only passes you can make uh, in the snow. So a quick pass orthogonally will be three spaces, and a short pass will be another three spaces. So that's six spaces orthogonally, or you can count diagonally two and two. So uh, diagonally, this is as far as the pass can go. So it's not very far. Wipe his ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy, you too. Let's mum it up. Is not going to catch on. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Masters of Mammal. Descending towards this ball. Shallow kick wasn't picked up by the ghoul. Had an unfavorable bounce here. They're going to try to capitalize on this by fighting for this ball turn after turn. Two die blitz. Here we go. Two die blitz with mighty blow is going to work out. Let's see if he follows up or not. Breaks armor, gets a KO, well done. One man player advantage now for the Masters of Mammal. Ten seconds left in turn two. Oh, 
not going for it here. Wow! GFIs are three plus. Wow! You have no fear. Passing back to keep this ball safe. Good pass. Failed the reception here. Boy, I mean, I, I think that was mean, a little bit of a panic play. I probably shouldn't have done that. I, I mean, um, but oh well. I don't want him to get the ball, and that is such. Oh my God, Stratus is such a lovely target. I mean, he's such a. He's such a lovely target. He's such a lovely target. Let's do, let's do these here. Well, at least we get it out of the way now. That's true. All right, we knocked out two of the three. Uh, we are fine with that. Uh, honestly, we were fine with the ball here anyway, but I don't think he was going to give me another opportunity to, to group up like that. Uh, especially being elves, he doesn't need to do that on offense. Uh, we'll take this block here. We'll take these blocks here. So let's go ahead and move you here. Let's move you here. Let's move you here. And then let's take this block. Three die block at the line. Uh, <laughs> and you push. And then we will take this blitz. No, we will go here. And then we will take this block. Two die block. Uh, we'll get the knockdown. We'll go here. Uh, we will stay put. Coming for this two die block. We'll get the knockdown. We'll go here. Follow up. Uh, do I want to do this now? Sure, why not? And then you can come back here. And you can GFI here. Turns out turn three now for the Masters of Mammal. Raven1840 says it should, it should though not explicitly state it in the rules. What did I miss? What did I miss? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Sorry, when I play my games, I, on my turns, I don't pay attention to the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Raven1840, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Masters of Mammal. Considering their action here, or their uh, action order. They stand up. The number seven lineman, Beastman. Lineman with the block skill. Oh, I see. You were answering a question. Cool. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.
33 seconds left for the Masters of Mammal. Everybody except for Argfil is Mark. He's going to GFI. Wow! So many GFIs! Blizzard GFIs fell on an 1800%. True story. That's math. Good dodge. AG4 dodge to a positive, uh, positive dodge from AG4 is going to be a 2 plus always. Another good dodge. Seven seconds remaining in turn three. Fail the dodge here. Probably not going to spend the reroll. Oh, he's thinking about it. And that's a turnover. All right. Let's, uh... Let's beat up on you for, uh, no, let's, let's beat up on you first. Two die block against the pal, you're going to go here, and we're going to follow up. Lovely. Um, you are going to go maybe this way. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're going to go here. We'll follow. I was going to take the blitz with the white, but I think I'll just reset instead. You'll go here. Move over here instead. We'll go here. You will go here, I think. We'll go. We'll go here. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Boy, I really... <laughs> Man! <laughs> Block would be lovely. Uh, you're going to go here. We're going to follow up. Take this block. Now that'll work. You'll go... Here. We'll follow up. Broken armor. Got an injury. 10v10 on the pitch. Abraham Lincoln himself is going to level up. We'll go here. And I think that'll be our turn. Turn four, final turn of the first quarter. Back to the Masters of Mammal. Masters of Mammal are going to reset their defense here. Try to get in front of this cage. A uh, passing game. Man, if a passing game wasn't an option for an undead team before, it's certainly not an option now. <laughs> SP Weaver says, you cannot ruin his perfect defense record. Well, maybe I won't. <laughs> I'm not that far down pitch. <laughs> Berserker Tempest says, pass the ball, you coward, pass the ball. <laughs> That's very true. A six is a six is a six. <laughs> Just roll sixes, roll better. <laughs>
Dodge is out number 10. Set up his defensive columns here. He's covering all of this space here. Failed to dodge by the mummy. Is he gonna spend his final reroll here? Yeah, that was a good, a good dodge decision for me. not Other to spend the reroll. We're gonna move up to the Masters of Mammals 12 yard line. Boy, I really wanna take a hit with that mummy, but I don't think I can afford to. Who's going to be the tie? It's not going to be you. Not going to be you. All right. Now, um, let's put you here. And let's try to set up these blocks. Let's go. Three die block. There we go. We're going to get a knockdown. We'll go over here. We'll follow up. Stun. And go there. We'll go here. Oh, I'm not afraid of your... I'm not afraid of your blodger. Let's go. It's gonna be a dodge push. It's gonna be a dodge push. We'll go here. Um, we're gonna follow up. That's our turn. Turn five, back to the Masters of Mammal. I'm not afraid of your blodger. I should have been afraid of his blodger. <laughs> Clive says no fouls. He talks a bit game, but won't do it himself. <laughs> Hush you. <laughs> Decides not to go for it in the blizzard. GFIs normally fail on a one. They fail on a one or a two in a blizzard. Increases the likelihood of failing from uh, a 17% to a 33%. Stand up blitz. Gets the pow on James Polk. Ah, oh, I think that's some sort of crime. It's gonna free up number four. He wants that movement with Stratos. Resetting the defense to get in front of the cage. Two die block. He's gonna get the pal on the white. Abraham Lincoln, is he gonna stay alive? He is. Oh, he's not! He got injured! Abe, no! Let's see if he regens. He does! You can't keep Abraham Lincoln down! I mean, I guess historically you can, but that's beside the point!
36 seconds to go here in turn number five. There's a movement with this blitzer, trying to keep this mummy out of play. Turn six for the dead presidents. You, you think I won't GFI? You think I won't GFI? How I'm offended, sir. You think I won't GFI? You think I won't GFI? Watch this. Watch this. I'm not scared. I should have been scared. We'll spend the reroll. I just shouted, I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should have been. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe you should have played that turn for real instead of instead of, <laughs> instead of for macho nonsense. <laughs> Masters of Mammal looking to pick this ball up and get it down pitch. If they can, they're almost free and clear. Two die block on number 12. Mr. McKenzie gets a push, formerly of the Brewmeisters. Here's the ball pickup. Well done. Moves forward to do the quick pass. Gets it in the hands of Stratos. Stratos can then move up and hand off. Failed to hand off. He's going to have to spend the reroll here. Well done. And now, and now He Man himself is going to move down pitch. Well done by the Masters of Mammal. Turn seven. All right. Well, we're giving up the TD. So who are we going to murder? It's got to be uh, Stratus is blipped. Um, um, who are we going to murder? I guess we're going to murder you, Whiplash. All right, let's murder Whiplash. So we need five, uh, five, six, seven. So this will be six. It's gonna be a GFI Blitz. Oh God, I don't want a GFI Blitz. Have I not learned my lesson? I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway.
just move him out of the way. You can go. You can go here. Watch this DFI blitz right now. You can't get more than a three die with Muffy, right? Correct. <laughs> Just moving my ghouls. Yeah. Three die blitz. We're gonna get the pal here. We're gonna get the pal. All right, um, let's put you here. And that'll be it. Turn seven for the Masters of Mammal. They're not gonna score on this turn, they'll score on turn eight. Bringing the assist to block Grover Cleveland. Dude, I blocked double yep. skulls. Double Guess skulls. They can't go right all the time. You, you, how do you think you can touch Grover Cleveland? Ah, oh, I'm offended. I'm offended. All right, let's take this mighty blow. No, you have, you're a blotter. Let's, um, let's, uh, let's move you here. There. We'll move you there. All right, let's take some blocks. Did I block at the line of scrimmage? We're gonna push. Die Blitz. We'll get the knockdown here on Skeletor. Um, so put. All right. What say you? What say you, Whiplash? I'm not gonna take the two die here, or the one die rather. Got an injury oh, out of it. Oh, wait. He's a hedge, but he sucks. And we didn't get called off the pitch. So now we'll go ahead and t uh, we'll go ahead and take this one die. Knock down go here. And we'll stick. And that'll be our turn with no rerolls remaining. This would have been on the line if I hadn't scored last time anyway. So he would have got, got hit either way. There wasn't much he was, he was going to do about it. Turn eight, he'll probably just waltz the ball in with no rerolls remaining. There it is. One to zero. Masters of Mammal are going to score on defense. Well done, man. Uh, trying to get some LVBS out there. Man. 
Shouldn't have been stupid. <laughs> I was in such a good position, and I'm just showing off. <laughs> and then I lost. <laughs> oh, that's what you get. <laughs> that's what you get. Don't show off. Just, just play the game. <laughs> One to zero. Masters of Babel are going to be on offense here in the second half of the game. Oh, I'm up. All right. <laughs> it's me. Uh, you can go on the la 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 la. No, you'll go here. Um, you can pull everybody else back. Where are my zombos? Where are my zombros? SP Viewer says, if you let him score early, you may be able to give him a third score. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Masters of Mammals setting up on offense here. SP Beaver says it does not give me the option to ban words over voice, otherwise I assure you Zombros would be. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Interesting choice to go with the five-man line here. One man player advantage currently for the dead presidents. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to be salty if the weather clears up. <laughs> Not so trusty patch says I just got home and there are far too many elves left. Please rectify this problem. I tried, man. I tried. I tried styling on him and I got I got punished severely for it. <laughs> Six seconds left to set up here on defense. Own five man line. Here's the kick. All right. Um, so our guard players over here. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kick here. We're gonna see what happens. I uh, kick. It's gonna be a shallow kick. He's gonna be able to get a player under the ball. Won't be able to catch it this turn or on this uh, kickoff event, but he'll get it next turn. Turn nine now for the Masters of Mammal. <laughs> thank, thank you for the bits, not so trusty patches. <laughs> Al Nubarino, considering his options here, he's going to try for these blocks on the line. All right. Oh, 
one die black up. He's gonna get the pal. Oh, gross, gross. He's not gonna be able to get an assist to make this uh, zombie block better. The uh, the number six guard uh, mummy Harry Truman has guard. Here's the ball pickup. Worked out. Moves the ball back to his own 10 yard line. Two seconds left. Takes the one die block. It works out again. Boy, oh boy. Now he's looking for this two die on the mummy. Gets a push out of it. Turn nine. Um, all right. Well. Um, I don't want you to run past me. So I think what I'm going to do is probably take this block here, I think. That'll make it a one die. Um... I can make it the Blitz instead, but that's a stand-up GFI Blitz. And I don't think I want to do that. Stand you up. And then I think I'll make this block here. Take this block. Oof. It's going to have to be this block. Take the block. Oh, we got a pal. Hey. Hey. Uh, we'll follow up. Got a KO out of it. Two man player advantage now for the dead presence. And now, I'll take this two die blitz. I have got another pal. You'll go here. Nice to put. And go there. Oh, I really want to go. I really want to base you. I think I should. And you'll dodge out this way. You get the blitz in here if you did that. No. So you're going to go forward. And then you are going to go. Uh, you are going to go here. That'll be our turn. Turn ten back to the Masters of Mammal. like the Masters of Mammal are going to... Uh, they may not commit to the left wide zone here, but it looks like they're going to try to take the Blitz in the left wide zone. Here it is. Two die Blitz on the number seven zombie. Gets a pal here. I don't even remember who he played for. It's opened up the hole now.
And run down the hole with uh, Stratos. That's that MA8 Blitzer. Risky GFI in the snow. Good dodge. Marks the number two white, Abraham Lincoln. Dodge Blitz. Has already been spent. I'm looking at the wrong icon. <laughs> Dodges to uh, secure this hole here. He's down pitch. Ten seconds to go. Crosses the line of scrimmage to the dead president's two yard line. Yeah, had to move back. <laughs> had to move back there. All right. Well, uh, let's probably take that two die. We'll move the mummy in down. Move the mummy down. One, two, three. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Who do we want to blitz? Who do we want to blitz? It's you, maybe? It's you, maybe. We'll start with this blitz because I don't know where else I want people to go, and you already have a minute left. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll get the pal here. You can go this way. We'll follow up. Good stun. Get this two die here. We'll get a push. Ooh, can go here. Follow up. Two die here. Knock down on Skeletor. Uh, okay, we're gonna follow up. Boy, where do I want you to be? Um, probably want you to be here. So I want you to be. Um, I want you to be here. That's fine. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, James Madison. Oh, I really want a GFI. I really want a GFI. Um, but we'll go. Boy, we'll go. Um... We'll do that. Turn 11 now for the Masters of Mammal.
Two die blitz coming up. Gets the pal on the number seven zombie. Two die blitz on the number two white, it looks like. This is not going to work. Well, he'll get a push result out of it. Oh, trying to get trying to get Abraham Lincoln out of this game. Set the cage here on the 14 yard line. Hey! Rather, he's going to advance the cage to the 14 yard line. He's not. He's going for the handoff instead. Is he just going to try to score here? There it is. Two to zero. Uh, yeah. well done. Thanks. Try to take advantage of that early one, the, the, the kick. No possibility of the dead presidents coming back at this point. It's got me there. I'll try to get on I the board, I knew I had though. to go to one side or the other. I, mean, I know, commit, I could hear you in my head. Like, committing to the wide zone, he's going to let everybody collapse around the cage. It's like, I got to score. I know he wants me to, so he has the time to, to go back, but... Whew, stuff. Yeah, I really should have. I, I'm really salty about it. It was I thought it was funny at the time, but now I'm just angry. <laughs> All right, he's setting up with his uh, kind of anchor. Uh, 10 players on the pitch versus 11. He's got 10. Man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> not to dodge with Skeletor. All right. Oh, he's the one uh, down the AG? Yeah, he's the one down the AG. He got me the first half. It's like, why did he fail that dodge? Oh, it was Skeletor. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Here's the kick. Masters of Animal are going to get an extra reroll. That's gross. All right, turn 11 for the Wait, dead presidents now. Uh, we'll go tight cage. I'm okay with this. I am a-okay with this. You can go... Probably free up a... a Mummers. And free up a Mummers. Do that. And then um, we'll keep him there for now. We'll see where we blitz. We'll go with you. We'll go with you. Could I block on the line? We'll get a pal. We'll go here. Follow up. And we'll do. Get our mummy blocks in. Two die block. Got a pal here with mighty blow. Follow up. And um, let's do this one. Uh, let's do it this way. Go here. Two die block. Got a pal. We'll go here. And we'll follow up. Back on the line. Um, you can probably... Better foul target. 
Uh, they're all garbage because they're linemen. Uh, we'll go. We'll go here. And then we'll go. Um, go here. Three plus pick up. Works out. That'll be our turn. Turn 12, back to the Masters of Mammal. Takes the mark on number 10, Andrew Jackson, up at the line. Mighty Blow Blitz. Here we go. Gets a push. Let's see if he holds his position with, uh, with He-Man. Still has movement left, but he, he probably will stay put. Yeah. Good dodge by uh, the trap jaw, the number nine lineman. All these dodges are AG2, with the exception of Skeletor, wherever he is. There he is. He's injured with an AG of three. <laughs> is that is that is that what I have to do? <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Resetting his uh, his elvish defense here, anticipating the shift. Back to center pitch. Yeah, Berserk Tempest says score this time, Ava. We will be judging you. Well, I mean, there's no guarantee. <laughs> we'll try. Move it with, one more movement with the Blodger Duncan. Turn 12 for the Dead Presidents. All right. Uh, let's. Let's try to kill Argphil here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here. You, you'll probably come around, so let's put a zombie on the cage. We'll go here. We'll take the blitz. So, what are you guys doing? What are you guys? What are you guys doing? Um, if you're going to take the Blitz, then I probably want you here. So he's got to come in first. So these guys are going to maybe come in. Hmm. Boy, I want everybody. Well, let's take the Blitz. Let's take the Blitz. Did I Blitz? We'll get a knockdown here. Uh, he go here. Stay put. Right, now we can shuffle people over. So you'll go here. That one kind of sounded like a thoink. <laughs> uh, you can go here. 
It's a little bit of a delay. I was expecting a cutscene, but then it was just like, boink, and he fell over. <laughs> you can go here. He does have Mighty Blow here, and you can get the two die. But you know what? You're going to go... Um, you're going to go here. And how dare you, sir? You're going to go here. You can go after the ghoul if he likes. Um, you are going to go here. Turn 13, back to the Masters of Mammal. Final quarter of play. Yes, B. Beaver said that that ghoul have a bear trap in his mouth. Yes. What, what of it? <laughs> Why are you judging us? How dare you? Two die block of the two whites. Gonna get uh, the knockdown on Abraham Lincoln. I think I should tempt fate and try to GFI score again. <laughs> Gets the assist on the ghoul here. Two die block on the ghoul. Gets the pal on James Madison looking for that eight plus. Ghouls do not have regen. Didn't work out. Should I black on the white? Gets a knockdown on number one. Breaks armor. Gets a stun. Pretty good stun here on George Washington. Should I block going up on John F. Kennedy? Hope he's going to take the two die on Grover Cleveland, and, or the one die on Grover, Grover Cleveland. One die skilled block with Mighty Blow. Where's he getting the two? Oh, he's got the assist down here. Two die block. He gets the knockdown. Moves the Blitzer back into position. Sets up his defense. Gonna move Orko, the AV7 runner, back into the safety position. <laughs> Grab the dodge here. He's got lots of rerolls, courtesy of Nuffle. Spends the reroll. Well done. Turn 13 for the Dead Presence. Four turns to get on the board. Um, and then we'll deal with James Madison later. You'll get a block. I can try to dodge you out to make the other block. That's risky. Um, so you're probably just going to have to take the hits, I think. Stand you up. 
This would be my blitz. Where are you guys going? So you'll go here. Nope, you, you're going nowhere. You'll go... Here. Maybe you'll go here. We'll go here. Take a two-die blitz here. Two-die blitz. We're going to spend a reroll here. Got the pal. Uh, you can go here and stay put. Take armor. Got an injury. No. Not Arkville, the former journeyman. Oh, oh this no. is the point of agility. With a broken neck, it's probably the end of his career. Sorry. <laughs> Oppo gets spent. Oh, what a great doctor. That's a Johns Hopkins doctor. Yeah, I hope Arkville doesn't make me regret that. <laughs> Three injuries, one back into the reserve uh, for the Masters of Mammal. Turn 14 now. Three turns left in this ball game. He was at a crossroads. He could have lost an agility and joined the bad guys. <laughs> You heard uh, El Nubrino there. The doctor gave him a choice. Go <laughs> go back to the reserve box or die. <laughs> Two die blitz. So both down result will be both standing result unless he re-rolls this on uh, Abraham Lincoln. We'll get another block out of this, though. Another two-die block coming up on old Abe Lincoln. Double pals this time. I like it. Doesn't follow up. I block back the line of scrimmage on James Madison will be a dodge push. Probably won't follow up here. We'll see if he ends up taking the one die. Oh, he does follow up. Interesting. All right. Takes the one. Oh, my goodness. Got the pow out of it. Two-die block on JFK gets a push. Let's see if he... Uh, oh, he has one more one die to take. Let's see if he sets it up for a two-die. Now well, it looks like he's going to dodge away instead. Fails a dodge. Has to spend the reroll here. Failed to dodge a second time. I need a shoe sponsor or something. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Turn 14 for the dead presidents now. Um, all right. Well, let's let's um, let's do this. Uh, that'll be one, two, one, two. Sh sure. Why not? Stand up. Do I want to take it on you and move one space? Do I want to take it on you and move two? Oh, don't I know it. Don't I know it. <laughs> uh, George Washington's going to stand up. Uh, he might be my blitzer. No, George Washington's going to stand up. Uh, I'll take the two die here. I think it's good out here to get started. We'll get the knockdown. We'll go here. And follow. And then old, old George. He's going to move probably here. Probably not there. You will go.
Get the Jedi Blitz here. The pals, he'll go. Um, he'll go this way. I'll go here. I'll take a two die. Get a knockdown. Here. He'll stand up, and he'll go, he'll go here. That'll be our turn, turn 15, back to the Masters of Mammal. Number 11 back in front of the cage. Play some defense. Orko is going to move up to play defense. Orko. Orko. Stands up Skeletor. The dodge here. Is he going to spend his final reroll? He is. There it is. Oh, he's got the old guard. Yep. Oh well. Takes the one die on Abraham Lincoln. Gets a pal. I, oh, I'm so mad at you. How dare you beat up on Abe Lincoln? So rude. <laughs> Tries to make the dodge here. There it is. He's going to get the two die on George Washington. Oh, no, that's a one die on George Washington. Turn 15 now. All right. All right. Um, you'll take this block. Who's going to be the blitzer? I guess you'll be the blitzer, right? You'll come in this way for the two die. And it's two GFIs to score. Jeez Louise. All right. Let's, um, let's do, let's do maybe one, two, three to move up. Um, let's do five, six. Um, and then you can boy um, you take this block here and I want you here. We're gonna have to go. We have to take this two die here. We'll get a push. Push 
here. Um, we will follow up. And then, um, I think we're going to move you. Here. Well, let's go for broke, shall we? Let's go for broke. Uh, you'll go here. care right now. I've got two seconds. Oh no. Orko would be getting sacked. Two GFIs to score. There it is. I made your GFIs. Nice. Made my GFIs. <laughs> First score on me this season. Oh boy. No longer no longer an impeccable defense. Had to happen I'd argue later. I'd argue otherwise, but well done. <laughs> Two to one, likely the score here. Unimpeachable, maybe going with your theme. Uh, more and more like unimpeachable, going with your. Ah. <laughs> Keep this up here. Final turn of the game. Right. Sorry about this, Merman, Trap Jaw, and Triclops. You guys are. You know what's you know what's terrible about that? If I wasn't trying to show off, I would have won this game. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have won. I would have drawn, but still. <laughs> no, I would have won. I would have won this game. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. He's gonna save his players here on the final turn. He's gonna put three on the line. Zerkatevis, who told you to show off? Uh, Nuffle. Nuffle told me to. <laughs> he said, he said, show off. I'll make it worth your while. Then he lied to me. Here's the kick. Uh, no need to get uh, stupid with this kick. Uh, you know what? The job of henchman is unforgiving. You know what? If there's a riot, if there's a riot and I get a turn, let's do it. Why not? A high kick. He's gonna be able to pick this ball up. <laughs> I don't know if he will. He might just leave the ball there. There's really no. Let's let Skeletor try for it. Ah. He needs one SBP. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. All right. Of course. Skeletor fails to pick up the ball. Turn 16 for the Masters of Mammal. He can't score. Good pickup. He's going to try to pass here with Skeletor. Boy, I can't believe he's keeping Skeletor on the roster. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> Quick pass to level up Skeletor. Failed to pass. <laughs> and he bobbles it. <sighs> Skeletor was never known for his uh, agility. No, he was not. All right, well, let's, uh, what do you say? We, to try. we end the game in style, shall we? Two die block at center. Uh, we'll get a push. Let's take a foot. Two die block on the right. Jeez. I'll reroll one of them, don't worry. We'll get a push. Get this three die shenanigans going. We'll get the knockdown, we'll follow up.
We'll get two assists on this foul. Let's go. Who do we want it with? Um, he's leveling up. It's going to be you. Come on, buddy. You got this. So I got a blitz, right? Get a blitzed mermaid out of the way. Lined up a few more guys on that one. Got all stunned out of it, but we're going to get called off the pitch. And that is the end of the game. GG's man. Two to one, the final. Yeah. Masters of Mammal are gonna win this one. They're gonna remain undefeated in Division A. Two. <sighs> I lost and got a five. Hooray! <laughs> I rerolled and got a five. Might be able to afford a witch elf. Well, I wish you uh, so much. Injured, injured Whiplash picked up the uh, <laughs> MVP. I mean, I, you know, he put his body and his tail on the line for this. He did. So. Good game, man. Right. Yep, good game. Good evening. Right, see ya. You too. And that's the final. Two to one. Masters Man, we're going to take this one. Uh, Dead Presence held on to the ball for uh, the majority of the game, for 50% of the game, that is. Uh, but. Uh, that's indicative of nothing. The uh, an Elven team will typically have the ball for less time on the pitch. Uh, yeah, and then the the block's taken. I mean, there you have it. Pretty pretty standard game of Blood Bowl here. <laughs> SPP uh, taken away for this evening. The Dead Presidents are going to pick up 14 SPP on their side, while the Masters of Mammal are going to pick up 14 on their side as well. However. Whiplash, the injured player, he's the MVP. He's it's uh, he's just badly injured, so it's not going to matter too much, but he's not going to be in the game next week. Rover Cleveland, one point away from leveling up to level three. Let's see if we can get him to strength five. <laughs> oh, man, what's the lesson for tonight? Don't don't be a dick. <laughs> Let's take a look at the schedule before we leave. Yeah, badly hurt means he's just out for the rest of the, this game, not next game. One game left to play this week. That will be Cetra Skellies versus the Brewmeisters. Amonthot Et versus Malik73. That will be Kemri versus Chaos Dwarves. Uh, it has yet to be scheduled, but when it is, uh, you'll be able to check it out and get alerted to those schedules uh, on our website at www.mammal.club here on Twitch or on our social media pages on Twitter, Mastodon, and Facebook. You can listen to our podcast, Mammal Talk, and watch previous games on our YouTube channel, Play Blood Bowl. What a dumb game it is. <laughs> what a fun, fun game, fun game. What a fun game it is. <laughs> you can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 2 on Steam, soon to be on Blood Bowl 3 and in tabletop form at your friendly local game store until... Next time, take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Monday evening.